Hi, I'm Claire Marshall, Executive Assistant here at Rockingham Forest Housing Association. Hi, my name's Heidi Williams and I'm the Customer Support Manager here. Hello, my name's Trish McCourt and I'm the Strategy and Policy Manager at Rockingham Forest. And this is our application for the National Housing Federation's What We Are Proud Of Award. What we're most proud of at Rockingham Forest is our Sports and Activities Week that we've run for the last three years during the school summer holidays. And you'll be meeting some of the key people who have helped us to make this happen, along with the kids who have enjoyed it. Because we're not a large housing association with thousands of properties, we've got just 650 and 20 members of staff. We are based within 100 yards of the community that we serve. At Rocky and Forest, we are really not just about bricks and mortar. We're about building sustainable communities in areas in which people want to live. Rosedon has, has got locally quite a high profile for antisocial behaviour, which is uh, my particular background, and it, it's very important to give the kids something to do to take their mind away from uh, you know, essentially being naughty, because we've got obviously a hardcore of uh, individuals which will continue to offend whatever, but there's also a lot of people, in uh, and kids particularly, in a grey area where, the, where they could get led by the the worst offenders, but if there's something positive for them to do, like this sports initiative Rocky and Forest are coming out with at the moment, what they're supporting, then I think that's likely to take a, a lot of those uh, in the grey area out of the equation and improve it for everybody. Housing Association need to be applauded for what they've done. They've put so much effort into organising the whole course. I mean, they will organise it two, three, even four months in advance to try and get everything organised, everything done properly. Um, they've got the safety of the children first and foremost with everything that's been done. They've organised art classes, um, healthy eating classes for the children during the week as well as all the football and basketball coaching that's gone ahead with it. So they've done absolutely brilliant with it and I can't praise them high enough. My favourite activity um, on the sports week is doing the canoeing and the team building. I love sport and everything so that's all I really want to do really. I want to, be, I want to have something to do with sport when I grow up. Then whoever wins, like wins a trophy, and then whoever win or doesn't win, gets um like a medal as well. So if you don't win or win, it's not really about that. It's about if you enjoy it. So um, just a big thank you to everyone really, because they like they're giving up their own time and they get these really good prizes at the end, and it's just it's really good fun. So thanks. Yeah. And uh, what what do you want to do when you grow up? Um, be a plasterer. I earn good money, so... Well, why I go is because we need the van to transport all the kit, you see. <laughs> Some of the days we get involved in teaching the kids skills for life, different things, bricklaying and ceramic wall tiling, and well, most of the week's playing sports, but this is working with your hands. Yes, it's a serious commitment. It's six people taking a whole week off work, uh, Quite, a, quite an expense to Rockingham Forest, but it's uh, Rockingham Forest trying to put something back into the community. Following the first year of this project, we applied to the National Lottery for funding so that the project could grow in response to feedback from the kids who took part. That funding was accepted and we've now run further activities such as kayaking and abseiling in order to respond to the needs of the children that take part. This project has been really hard work but it's been one of the most enjoyable things that I've done over the last 12 months. It's fantastic seeing the way that some of the children have developed and the way that their self-confidence has grown and I'm sure that the benefits of that will be carried forward into their future. From a community's point of view I've really enjoyed meeting and working with new partnership groups such as Groundbreakers and Sure Start and we hope to continue our relationship with these groups for the benefit of other residents in the future. And the benefit to the association is that it's broken down barriers between staff and residents and it's helped our residents to view us as just normal people and friends as well. Uh, I've been working in my local community for 11 years now and uh, I found it really difficult to uh, find partners that are willing to commit. So when we discovered the partnership with Rockingham Forest, that for us was a bit of a lifeline really. It's really, really clear that Rockingham Forest staff are not just committed, uh, but really passionate about their work. And, and they always just seem to go the extra mile. And I've experienced that over and over again. Great team player and the female of the week, but they didn't give me a trophy for that, they just gave me a football. <laughs> <laughs> While I was there doing work experience, 
and it was really good working with the kids. Um, there were some kids that were quite shy, so it was nice to, for them to kind of have someone to look up to and hold hands with when they get scared, things like that. Because some of them don't go away from their parents quite a lot, so that was nice. And then working with, with the Rock and Forest staff, they're all brilliant with the kids as well. I'd like to say thank you to all the Rock and Forest staff people. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> You're not part of the staff. <laughs> we saw, when I saw the kids at the first year, we didn't really know what it was about and they absolutely loved it and they want to go every year and the eldest ones get a bit old now, aren't they? Yeah. yeah they, they love it. I think she still wants to carry on though. Yeah. <laughs> if there is an award for the association for this kind of thing then they do deserve it. Um, they do work hard with the kids and make an effort. Um, yes, they yeah. should definitely <laughs> get an award. Definitely, yeah. yeah.